To start the new month, claims tonight international vapour trails laid by international organisations could be filling central west skies with dangerous chemicals. Opponents of these mysterious chemtrails, which have been appearing over Dubbo and other central west centres, argue science is being perverted to change local weather patterns and keep Australia in drought. These weirdly shaped vapour trails above Dubbo make curious patterns, but concerns tonight it could signal a systematic poisoning of the skies above western New South Wales. Jet planes often leave contrails, but these vapour trails aren't on any recognised flight paths, and they run closely parallel and cross over in gigantic X shapes, forming giant grid patterns across the sky. And it's not just Dubbo, these are happening worldwide. There's a growing belief the chemtrails, as they're known, are part of a secret international strategy to inject fine particles into the upper atmosphere to reflect sunlight back into space and prevent global warming. This is a disgrace that our government is allowing the US to spray barium, um, aluminium and all sorts of toxic aerosol chemicals under the banner of repelling sunlight. Critics equate the program to the 1950s radioactivity experiments using human guinea pigs. They're also dismissing reports of a seasonal link between a spike in the number of the sky trails and the end of the first quarter of the year. The public deserve to know that these contrails have health implications, right? Let alone their disorganised weather patterns leading to less rainfall. Much like dead paddocks with dead biology won't attract rain like a living pasture will. And even though it's April Fool's Day, we can only hope this joke's not on us. John Ryan, Win News. But the former commercial pilot isn't some adrenaline junkie courting danger. He's a cloud seeder, chasing this menacing storm to squeeze out extra rain for the drought-stricken farmland below. As a pilot going through school, you're taught to avoid thunderstorm. This is Craig's job, firing chemicals into the clouds in a controversial attempt to modify the weather. He's literally a rainmaker. Cloud seeding has been used around the world for decades. Okay. Oh, I see the flare. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's uh, painting the sky. The flares are shooting millions of silver iodide and calcium chloride particles into the cloud, where they collide with drops of water and ice and produce even more moisture. Then, usually within 20 minutes... So what is this white, smoky stuff over here? That's rain. Oh, that's rain? Yeah, that's rain. <laughs> Residents in southern Tasmania are demanding to know why cloud seeding was conducted over the Derwent River catchment the day before the worst floods in 40 years. Cloud seeding is a technique used to increase rain. Hydro Tasmania has confirmed it flew a cloud seeding flight despite the weather warnings. Farmers believe the technique could have made the flooding worse. The Premier says a formal inquiry will be held into the effect and handling of the floods if it's necessary.